Well, it's it's a really good point though because with Ezreal up, you know that okay. one of the few AD carries that can actually live. Don't worry, they could be even more than that because the players are allowed to go anywhere they like on Summoners. He even talks about he can play any game yeah. at the highest level, <laughs> let alone just League of Legends. So we're seeing Huni flex his muscles once again. He played bottom lane yesterday, and now he's gonna be able to play the Talia with her and uh, can can actually uh, perform well later on in the game, too. I just like the idea that also, you know, the relationship between Dardock and Huni has popped jungle. Oh, never mind. We'll talk about that later, because Dardock's looking to solo, Going solo. To the brush. <laughs> Again, yeah, you can't run that way. Dardock's like, yeah, that's not the right way to run. And he's from Echo Fox, and a lot of river control uh, with the vision. Oh, that one just times out, though, and Dardock is going to be the recipient of a repeat game. Yep, slips back in, but again, has some rush control, can maybe threaten solo, leaps back around, gets Dardock level gets six. Nice. Not gonna have to run, but he's going through the wrong turret. No flash gets to a minion though. Still one hit away. First blood on the table, but Dardock is trying to get out if he can. Gets the ball and he's gonna keep trying to run, but Lyra <laughs> has the Q. Doesn't tag him for the back end of it, but he just has nowhere good to go. Another slow, but Lyra moves in, shoots him for first blood. Oh man, his ward literally just timed out. It is gonna be a big minion wave that he's gonna lose regardless. So that's why it's a good play there from Lyra, even if he doesn't get a flash or anything. He moves Dardock away from this cannon minion wave. Oh, Dardock actually goes oh, back no. in for it. That might have been a little too far forward. Lyra looking to chase, splashes forward, has the old line set up, and just takes him down. Huni gonna ride back in with the old, but it's a 2v2 with Solo. Also there with Phoenix, Lyra a little too low. Huni gonna try and take him out, but the smite is good. Huni flashes, does get the kill on the stun, barely misses from Forbidden. Now gonna flick them both back out, and Huni! I mean, the guy has got mechanics. For every champion, uh, and very, very quick decision making at the end of that confrontation. Teleport to the bottom side as the ward is timing oh, out. Oh, Hakuo finds the two-man knockup after the recombo. Now Solo gonna ground up the Lucian. They want the first kill. They'll take down Altak, and now Adrian is left for dead. Flicks back, no mana, no health, and Apollo grabs the double. Nice timing on that teleport. They had Altak and Adrian far up in the leave for that 650, but still gold going to uh, the carry. We expect from Mega Fox, maybe not in the position we expect as Lyra face checking Dardock, but Dardock has a couple of shrubberies to jump through. Lyra, uh, Adrian here, sorry, flashes forward. Lyra, one more auto until the passive's gonna proc, but Adrian can't quite find it. Huni though back up, uses his ult to get there quick. Lyra going down, Adrian grabs the kill. Dardock oh. still resetting in the brush, and it's going to be carnage. Dardock grabs solo. Don't you, he has a lot of Rengar games there. Dardock goes in for the double jump here with the Rengar. Level 11, his split push is taking over. They've got Phoenix. Oh, never mind, man. Oh, Huni caught finally. Does actually get a trade kill onto Haku, but he loses his life to Apollo in the process. Yeah, I was about to highlight the 1 3 1 from Echo. And even there, they're getting cleared out. Yep, they're going to get tagged, but again, the clutch is coming. Haku finds the combo. Tagged by the ult. That's actually enough from the Ignite. Dada Quinn, the ult, but I don't know if Fox have an angle to re engage. Instead, Adrian forced to flash over the wall to stay on the right hand side with a ward there in the brush. Fox know that. And now again, Clutch look to reverse the pressure. Adrian gonna get knocked off, but I'll take untouched for now. Adrian low, but I think Haku oh, may have gone a little too far forward. The Ignite is there, but it's not enough to take him down as Apollo almost snipes Altec. Here comes Phoenix though again, flash forward, looks to rid of the pole, but he flashes out into Huni's waiting arms. A shutdown there for the Talia, and Haku forced to book it back towards the top side, but. Dardock also could come down. Oh, not quite off cooldown, but the root lands into Solo. Enough of the flick there by Hunyu. Just catches him on the edge of that CC, but looks like the player's off. Quickly, the Rizo, the Talia ult. They close the trap, and now they can push on the last outer turret. Finish that one up while Dardock might yeah. get a kill on the and turret. The die, Phoenix just moves in and scoops it up. Lyra does get a counter kill as he takes down Dardock, burning his ult to do so, but in and amongst all of this, they're gonna have to run a long way down, but they found some kills first. Lyra and Hakuo are still there, and Lyra now pinned up against the wall, does dash over through the gap in the trees. Now the TP coming in, Clutch gonna try and collapse Solo, grabs a bunch of them, but Altec finally dashed out of the way. They get the flick with a stopwatch, they're gonna keep Huni alive for a little while longer, but it just lines it up for Hakuo who lands a W for the knockoff, but still the trades are coming out as Phoenix is ripping through the team. Damage still there, it's a mess! And that's a double in for Solo. He's alive for long enough to try and get the rest of them as Dardoch has got no sums left. CG, three up, still looking to try and complete the ace, and Dardoch will get flinged back. Oh, 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 oh. Solo got his teammate killed! He's not done yet! He's still going again. He has some vision, they're gonna try and do a little bit more for him. Has to be so careful, he knows. He can't get close to the Rango on Solo. Now just forced away, does get the stun for Vivian. Finally seals the ace! Oh. But it was 
was awfully close, Kobe. I saw the YouTube highlight waiting to happen. This map to make all these fights mean something, because right now it's yeah. gold being traded. Oh, here they go. Paco again looks for the engage. Flashes back on a dive to get the charm, but Adrian's going to block a lot of that cover. <laughs> Apollo and Lowe, but still not dead for Bivis. In the front line, Pops is on here, but he's going to get shut down by Phoenix. Who knew oh, no. Over. Still 4v5, and they have a chance. Yep, Dardoch, though, again, moving through the brush around the Baron. Butch, need to be careful. Solo. Still cutting it out as Fox do disengage off the objective. No kills just yet, but Phoenix finding recalls. Baron has a lot more health now, so they might be able to get in there. 5,000 health. They're so far away, though. Clutch gonna have to start a fight right now. Oh, look for a miracle steal. Baron low. Hooney smites it away, but Hawkwell gonna kick things off. He dives into the backline for the knockup. Altec, though, able to take him down. Adrian does fall to for Viven. One for one, not too bad. Fox already got the barrel, but Dardic may have dove a little too far forward. The old unforbidden, but Hooney again finds a flick and takes down Solo as Phoenix is providing the brunt of that DPS. He flashes in, looks for a root, but still the damage deals are up on both sides. Yeah, Dardoch and Phoenix aren't out yet. Lyra over the wall, looks for Apollo, finds it. Apollo with the gauntlet, needs to take a couple. Phoenix. Oh, good stun. They actually cancel the rise off, but Hooney's actually back here looking for Apollo. Dada goes to Jantic Ford. It's forbidden. He's out of mana. The shield that keeps spinning alive for way too much, way too long. And now he's going to pop the zone. Just Hooney did take down Apollo. Oh. Echo blocks. They lose Phoenix, but they find so much more. Oh, man. Clutch game work. Trying so hard right now. Turned out. And Dago Fox still looking to take another in here. Hooney, another great wall angle. And Apollo actually forced the shift over back to safety. Wave though does get taken down. Wizard minion finally down, but Akko finds the big one, gets a four man charm at the end of it all. Hooney in the front side pops, he's only but he's dead to Apollo as Clutch. Actually, defend and find a kill. Yeah, and Hooney again gonna cut off solo. But Wave is gonna fall down. Apollo forward. We're gonna try and get some damage done. But we I entered the matrix. But I see, I said it was data already. So uh, certainly, there may or may not be a glitch. But uh, those are some surprise looking faces and they're gonna match mine. You'll see in a second, cause I don't have a good answer for you, Kobe. I mean, we'll definitely uh, investigate and get to the bottom of this. Uh, quick pause, try and figure out what happened here, but. We're able to chrono break this game and league officials are ruling the game a victory for Echo Fox. Fox was currently up seven turrets to zero. There was one inhibitor down on Clutch Gaming's side, a four dragon lead for Echo Fox and a 10K gold lead for Echo Fox. League officials have ruled that Clutch Gaming did not have a reasonable chance to come back in this game and will award Fox with the game victory. We are gonna step away when we return Cloud9 and Optic face off in our final game of the weekend. That game five is coming up after the break.